quick story time with pictures on my fitness journey. So yes, I was in the fitness industry for a very small, small amount of time. I started weightlifting when I was about 18 years old and I got my first job at 19 years old at a supplement store. It was a very hardcore supplement store, you know, like er, er, er. at 19 years old, I was very impressionable. I got talked into being a bodybuilder. So I went on a really big bulk and this is what I looked like. <laughs> hmm. What were you thinking, girlfriend? Not cute. I wanted to do bodybuilding competitions, so I wanted to gain a lot of muscle really quickly. Throughout that bulk, I gained 20 pounds. I lifted really heavy six days a week and I lifted a lot of weight. I was hip thrusting 400 pounds. I was squatting 285. Once I reached this weight, I didn't want to look like this anymore. Sincerely, my body did not feel that great. I felt extremely heavy and sluggish because I was eating every hour and a half. I believe I ate 3000 calories a day. I wanted my natural figure back, which was more slender, but I did still have curves. So I went back to eating my normal amount of calories and I started doing a little bit of cardio every day. And before I knew it, I was back to where I was. After gaining all that muscle mass, I was ready for a fitness competition and to start the extreme cutting. My dad saw my interest in the fitness industry and he wanted to put me in fitness modeling. You want to do a high quality fitness competition? You need good quality bikini photos. Those bikinis don't cover much. No, thank you. Ah, you need sponsors. Well, what about Bang Energy? Bang Energy, what's required? Full face of makeup, breast implants, booty shorts. No, thank you. Oh, and put your booty in the camera. What does this have to do with fitness? Needless to say, I didn't want to be a part of that. The bodybuilding and lifting industry is really over-sexualized and it puts an emphasis on women's nudity. It promotes women to get breast implants so that they win these competitions. Many women who were in the bodybuilding industry have spoken out about these exact issues. I want to add that not all of the bodybuilding industry is bad. It is a sport at the end of the day. It's just not for me. And I fully accept that and I'm just here sharing my story.